so we had plenty of wage budget but not any transfer budget to go into the transfer window sold 4.1 million and spent 2.6 million um and we've got quite a few players in 20 to be precise so let's roll the intro and then see exactly what I've managed to do with no money. In the heart of northern Italy lies a town steeped in footballing history. Welcome to Vercelli, home to one of the most storied clubs in Italian football, Pro Vercelli. Languishing in the lower leagues as its once glittering legacy faded into obscurity. But now, a new chapter is about to be written. A chapter of redemption, revival, and triumph. Get ready to witness the rebirth of a footballing legend. This is Football Manager 24, the Pro Vercelli Chronicles. Hello and welcome back to the Pro Vercelli Chronicles. So first of all, we'll go through the outs. Maggio left on a free. Unfortunately, um, he said he wanted to go. There was nothing we could do there. Um, tried and tried, but he wasn't having any of it. Putini also left on a free. Um, he was okay, but I thought maybe we could do better. Um, Hajawi left on a free he basically wasn't very good so we got rid of him we also got rid of rosaro who is a center back 19 year old was never gonna make it he's gone on a free and then to the same team torres rota has gone out on loan He's an okay player, and I thought we'd give him another chance. Um, we sent him out on loan, because if he can get anywhere near the three-and-a-half star potential, then it'll be worth bringing back. Obviously, if it's two-and-a-half, not so much. So he needs game time. We've sent him out. Sibalio, again, we've sent him out on loan to get some more experience. He looks like he could be a good player for us. Um, sending him out on loan makes a lot of sense. Barberi, also one of the fringe players that I ended up giving another contract to. We sent him out on loan. I do feel that with this one and the first loanee I showed you, if they don't improve while out on loan. <clears throat> I think that will be the end of them. Grandy has left for £26,000. He was a keeper, two and a half star. He was starting to decline and he's 32. Um, he was on quite high wages with us. So it was a case of get rid while we could. Um... Felizano also went for seven and a half again, 34 year old, great mentals, but was really starting to decline in the physicals, didn't really play an awful lot last season, so we decided to get rid, Kulabale then went for one and a half million, um, I needed money in order to bring any players in, and we were offered one and a half million for him. He's 26 year old Senegalese player. He was playing every game last season, played really well last season. But money talks, and it was a too good offer to turn down, really, because it meant that we could go out and spend some money. Next, we had. Fiamalzi, who was the right back, who was 32, physical was starting to decline. We got rid while we could. He was on quite high wages as well. Next, Bellatrami has gone out on loan. He is another one where if the loan doesn't work out, he'll probably be released. Um, he's not 
you know, he's got a bit of potential. We'll have to wait and see. He's at the age where he'll either can grow or not. Next was a player which I ideally would have kept, Rizzo. The reason why he's gone out on low, uh, why we sold him is because we got that message of he's going to look at explore his options once his contract runs out, and his contract ran out runs out next summer. So it was cash in before we lose, and it was two and a half million. So I couldn't really turn it down. And Gretti's gone out on a free. He was one that had passed the not going to improve enough to play for us. And then Viatis has most recently gone out on loan. Um, the reason for him going out on loan was because he came to me, started moaning about game time. So it was trying to get rid of him. Um, nobody had any money to buy him. So he sent him out on loan. Now for the players in, we have Renzetti. Renzetti is a goalkeeper with no face. Don't ask. He is one and a half star current ability, four and a half star potential ability. He has got every potential to do bits this season. Um, and I think he's going to um, grow, hopefully, with the club. Next, we have Oblek, who was from AC uh roma sorry i think was it roma yeah as roma ac he is a center back one and a half star current ability three and a half star potential could develop into something he's in the under 20s um just have to wait and see if not i'm sure we could sell him for something we have pietro Paramagini, he is two star current ability, four star potential. Again, somebody to fill out the under 20s could develop into something. Um, he's one for the future. These are all pre signings before their contracts ran out. So, yes, next we have. Matteo Spince, who is a striker, two-star current ability, three-and-a-half-star potential ability. I think he's a bit better than that for a striker. He's, he's not lacking in an awful lot, really. He's got OK composure, a good three in the middle there. Great natural fitness. Anticipation's quite good. Decision's quite good. Um, he's probably not going to start much, but he's definitely one that's in the first team and will remain in the first team. Next, we have a Maguai. Maguai is a right winger. He is two-star current ability, four-star potential ability. He looks like he could reach the four stars. Um, he's only t um, 19. He's got good physicals for a 19-year-old, quite good technicals. He is improving constantly. He's in the under-20s at the moment, but wouldn't be surprised if I don't call him up during the season. Next, we managed to get a freebie for Lorenzo. We've brought Lorenzo in. Obviously, he was here on loan last season. His contract ran out. I went gobble, 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 gobble. We signed him, and he only wanted £600 a week, which is really good. Next, we have Sinisalo from Aston Villa. He is a goalkeeper. He was here on loan last season. Excuse me for a second. Sorry about that. Coughing again. Yeah, I'm still not still not 100%. Um, he was here on loan last season. We gobbled him up on a freebie from Villa. Thank you very much. Next, we have Feria. He has come in f 
for free. He is a right back. Three and a half star current ability, three and a half star potential ability. Very, very good. All the stats are good. 24, Venezuelan. I thought it was a really good find. Next we have Helgerson. Helgerson is a 24-year-old Icelandic central midfielder. Three and a half star current ability, four star potential ability. He's just a very, very accomplished central midfielder. Um, can pretty much do everything. So, you know, as a box-to-box, -box, I think he's got most of the abilities to do it. Lacks a tiny bit in finishing, but not too bad there. Next on loan, Bonomi came in on loan. He is a left winger, two and a half star current ability, five star potential ability. Very, very good. He will be a backup, however, and you'll see why in a little bit. Next, we have Kazaragi, who's come in on a free. Four-star current ability, four-star potential ability, central midfielder. He's 32, so he's getting on a bit. But with games with the like this, he is good enough to be a Serie A player, in my view. Um, very, very good player. Next, from Dusseldorf, he is only here on loan, but it's Daniel Maldini, boys and girls. He is a central attacking midfielder, probably going to play on the left for us. Four-star current ability, four-and-a-half-star potential ability. I've gobbled him up. Hopefully, everybody is aware of who his father is. Yes, it's Paolo Maldini's son. I've been desperately trying to get Paolo Maldini in as a um, back staff. I, I would love that. But he's not willing to do it at the moment. Hopefully, if we get promoted, we'll be able to not only buy this player, but get um, Paolo Maldini in as well. I believe is his contract up in a couple of years. So... We would have to buy him, um, which could be difficult. But I'm going to do everything in my power. I like the player. He's very, very, very good. If he grows up to be half of what his old man was, we're laughing there. Next, we have Ambrosino, who is a three-star current ability, five-star potential ability, striker. He's our new striker, advanced forward, great um, technicals, really good mentals and physicals for a 21-year-old. He's only going to improve, and constant game time will do that for him, I'm sure. We spent 500k on him. Next, we spent 400,000 on... Corvitsen. Corvitsen is a right winger, can play on the left, two and a half star current ability, four and a half star potential ability. Lacks a little bit in the physicals. I'm hoping at 20 that might go up a little bit. Um, he's left footed. He's going to be key throughout the season. The fact that he can play on both wings, I think. Next, from Posh. 500k was spent on Alex Murphy. Three-star current ability, five-star potential ability, left-back slash central-back, centre-back. We need left-foot centre-back. We also needed a left-back. Um, so why not kill two birds with one stone? Great physicals, good all-round player. He's been at posh for a couple of years. Nothing to worry about. I'm sure he'll be fine. Caligara next for 1 million, potentially going up to 3.7 million. And with the potential, most of it is on international appearances. He's 25. He's not been capped at all. So I said if he gets five international appearances, I'll give you one and a half million. Um... 
think you will never have to pay it. And I think there's a bit on 50 games again might not have to pay it because he'll probably come in and go out if we get promoted he's probably not good enough for Serie A but he's three and a half star current ability four star potential ability central midfielder he's a box to box slash ball winning midfielder very good for this level he probably realistically could play in division above but not so sure Next, we have L. Datkill on loan from Burnley. He's a four-star current ability, four-and-a-half-star potential ability. Everyone loves one. He is Belgium. He's um, a ball-winning midfielder. He's going to play as a midfielder or a defender. He can play as a ball-winning defender. He's probably actually going to play as a defender. Ball-playing defender, six-foot-two very good happy days no problems there next from slr we spent 195k potentially going up to 375 we've got potential add-ons um you know it, it's higher again central back slash left back he probably play as the left back um he's left footed he is three star current ability four star potential ability with 11 crossing he's six foot one again it's 50 50 where he will play next we have an old friend that i just saw and i had to bring him back on loan Welcome back, Spav1. Three-star current ability, four-star potential ability. He's, uh, they bought him, um, Spezia bought him for 155k. We've loaned him in now, again, for a second time. He's not great, but we know what he can do. And it was in a division below... But he was great for us. I think we can probably get the best out of him. And as a bench warmer, I'm very, very happy. Next, another bencher on loan from Manchester United. We have Vitek, who is a Czech, is a Czech goalkeeper. Three-star current ability, five-star potential ability. He's very, very good. He's 21. Um, he's valued at 13 to 20 million, so there's no chance of us buying him anytime soon. His contract... <clears throat> excuse me. His contract isn't up for another year, so we'd have to get him on loan for another year, I think, to potentially get him on a free. Um, but... He is very, very good. Uh, we've got a couple of players going out. Well, Parodi going out, hopefully, um, fairly soon. So we'll have to wait and see. So what that means is we're still sticking with the same formation. If you bear with me a second, I'll come back for... So the team for today's game is Sinisalo in goal, Murphy at left back, Piera, Aldakhill and Ferreira at the back, Helgerson and Caligari in midfield with Maldini, Kazaragi, Kofitson, whose name we are going to change because that just sounds like a football name Fitzy in at right side and Ambrosini oh Marks up top. If you know, you know. It just sounded right. And uh, Marks up top. So let's get going, shall we? On the first game of the season, 
it's yeah gonna be fun uh squad numbers to three players yeah let's just 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 auto do that i i do often wonder does anybody go through and give their players squad numbers because i've never done that I, it doesn't bother me in the slightest um at all so i was just wondering if anyone else does um <clears throat> so um Yes, we are ready to go. What kind of name Peori is that? I don't even know how to pronounce that first name of Helgeson. Helgeson to Caligara. Ferreira. Ferreira's got a goal. Get in there, Eduardo Ferreira. Has put the ball in the back of the net to make it 1-0 to Provacelli. Fantastic start. We're going to be aiming for, we've got to aim for promotion this season. I think we've improved a lot. We were close last year. We were surprisingly close. We got into the playoffs. And Fitzy has just put it in to make it 2-0. Boys and girls, this could be a very, very good season. Torrenta been absolutely demolished here so far that doesn't mean the fm gods can screw us over now but maldini's picked it up plays it to fitzy back to maldini and daniel maldini has scored on debut as well holy moly this team is good three nil up within the first half an hour Boys and girls, this is going to be something special this season. Kazaragi to Helgeson. Calgara off the prosper. Wowzers. <clears throat> Kondronovis, Yangson, and that's gone over. I'd like to think Sanazalo had that covered because he just stood there. I strongly suspect he just didn't move because goalkeepers. But here's Murphy now. What can Murphy do with it? Plays it back to Pieri. Back to Murphy. Murphy to Maldini. Maldini finds a ball across to Kazaragi, who's unable to get the goal. And it goes out for a goal kick. We are 3-0 up at half-time. Um, we are going to outstretched arms. Keep it up, lads. Come on. This is very, very good. It'd be interesting to see where Taranana, Taranana are supposed to finish this season. Because if they're to finish anywhere in the top half, we, have, we will be laughing this season because it's utter domination we're coming up to 70 minutes we're going to make some changes just because we can um who do we want to see uh Nepi's coming on up top um i want to see spinassi in the behind um rutig out wide and Maldini, I want to play Spav one. Want him to get some game time, and that's all I can do, isn't it? So we've changed the top positions really, um, and yeah, the reason for that is just because we can. Basically, here's Rutig. Rutig, who was unlucky not to start, to be honest, has been brought down for a penalty. That's as clear as day. I'm also going to quickly swap Pierre and Murphy over. Confirm those changes. Just because Murphy's a little bit more tired, so I thought try Pierre out wide for a little bit. He can do more running. Helgeson makes it 4-0. Wham, bam, Helgeson. 
has put the ball in the back of the net. Boys and girls, this is very, very good. Ferreira plays it all the way back to Perry. Perry uh, pushed over. And it's another corner. What can we do with this one? Play it here. Play it here. Play it here. It's pushed into the back post. And the ball is eventually cleared. Boys and girls, we're top of the table. We're winning 4 0 at home. But 4 0 nonetheless. This is going to be a good one, I sense. We're going to carry on. We're just going to see where Tirana are supposed to finish. Well, oddly, we're supposed to be down in 16th and they're just below us. Same, we're supposed to be as good as them. I'm shocked that we're season preview as us down in 16th because I think we're a lot better than that. What about <clears throat> players in the dream team? Okay, the closest one is him. Odd. But, yeah, I'll be surprised if we finish that low. I think we've got a good chance of finishing up. I think the reason why it's saying that low is because the club reputation maybe is only three-star. Um, but we'll see. So, for the next game, I think we're going to play a couple of games. Only a couple. We're going to come back for Barry and Modana in the next game two away games but if you've enjoyed that please leave a like subscribe if you're new i've been the masked manager until next time i have spoken